<laughs> right. Right, so apothecaries. Yes. <laughs> Close enough. So the apothecary. Um you both walk in and it's one of those apothecaries that clearly all the actual stuff is stored underneath or above. The actual room that you're in is basically just it looks like a wooden pharmacy. Hmm. So there's a counter in front of you and there's a few like things behind the counter. But there is no way for you two to get behind the counter without <laughs> jumping over the counter. You very deliberately said that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so I was going to be sensible. I was just going to stay right behind the counter. Very good. And there is one of those little bell things. Yeah? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why'd I do this? <laughs> ping, ping, ping. You ping, shouldn't have ping, said it. Ping, Stop ping, it. Ping. Oh. <laughs> At this point, uh, Dumbledore walks out. Um, clearly he was just doing some apothecary things because he's wearing a pair of goggles and massive leather gloves. He goes, Hello! Oh, it's you. Hello, friend! Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I thought Dumbledore would swear. Let- Not in my world. Let me hand this. Um, ha- last night, I do apologise. Um... You're still dinging, aren't you? <laughs> Would you stop dinging? Sorry, my friend was just out of interest, just kind of wanted to see what was happening with the game. She, obviously, not using any of the correct social etiquette, decided to get into your friend's face and have a look at what he was doing with his hand in the game of cards. It was him, by the way. It wasn't his friend. Oh, sorry. Oh, you weren't there. I was drinking that night. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, the reason why we come here is, um, well, are you looking for anybody to do any work by any chance? Did you hear that from the bartender? Um, I heard it from a very strange talking head. Okay. It's Larry, he's not strange, he's a god. Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> Can you put the bell under the counter? I already have, she's just saying ping over and over again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess there's not very much else we can do. No. No. Yes, I need someone to go and retrieve a sword of mine. Hmm. Now, whereabouts is this sword of yours? Well, you see the mountain behind the town? Uh, yes, that really big one, yeah. Yeah, the big one. That, yeah, the only mountain for mine. <laughs> yep, I know that, I know that very mountain. Right, okay. Well, if you go around, uh, follow the road around for about a mile and a half, then you'll come to a path that leads into an old mine shaft. And inside the mine shaft leads to the... Are you still pinging? Oh, for goodness. <laughs> I just turned around and saw her just slapping the back of her hand like that. <laughs> you know that noise can probably be picked up by the microphone? Yes. And even when Carl, we've just spoken about it anyway. Yes. Your mother will probably listen to this. Yes. Mo- if you're taken. playing a character. Point taken. Dear sir, if you have a magic restrainment spell, you are more than welcome to use it, my friend, if that's getting irritable. No, I'm currently using that one upstairs. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Now, you go into the mineshaft, and you go through the mineshaft, and you find a tunnel that leads off. And you'll be able to tell that it's not the part of the mineshaft, because the mineshaft has... The buttresses that keep everything up. And this one is just a natural tunnel. Okay? Lots of moss and things, usually. I mean, that's last time I was there, but I wasn't there for like six months, because I got chased out by the things that live in there. Uh, what sort of things were inside? Uh, big rats, a couple of spiders, stuff like that. Uh, Typical first level adventure stuff. Oh. <laughs> So, no- nothing like goblins, orcs, or any sort of, like, hideous uh, cave-dwelling creatures yet? Not last I checked. Nothing with a bum for a face. Nothing with a bum for a face, I can promise that. Okay. This is RuneQuest, not Bloodborne. Ding, so a Bloodborne ding, ding. tabletop RPG would be amazing. Ding. Everyone would die. They do actually have the uh, Bloodborne game set, just like with Dark Souls. Mm. Cool. I do know they have a deck game, yeah. Mm. We should do a video at some point where we actually play the Dark Souls board game for my channel. Last night, it was amazing! I was very stressed out. Yeah, we all got a bit scared. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot easier with three players, it turns out. Mm. 
So this is why I'm playing an incredibly naive and stupid character, because last night I was having to play the tank, and I don't play tank. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. Ding. Back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> right. I actually really badly want one of those bells now. I've got one somewhere. Not right now, obviously. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> now I just feel bad and I want to get a rebel. <laughs> no. It's alright, I'm not actually upset. I know, but you play it so well. You play cute faces. This, GM's out there. This is also the problem with uh, role playing with your other half. They know how to get under your skin. Well, like, it's usually easiest if you cut a hole and go in that way. <laughs> <laughs> of the ten jokes you could have told, you opt for that one. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Right, um... Moving on. Can uh, I detect magic? Uh, yeah. Okay. Roll. It's not a magic bell. Crit fail. 96. You do detect magic. Yes. Inside yourself. <laughs> Yeah, that, that actually that reaction. <laughs> yeah. Basically just yeah. you stall. <laughs> it's okay. <coughs> it's alright. You've got magic and I've got magic too. This nice wizard here has magic as well. Am I a wizard? You're a shaman. You're a shaman, Larry. That by the way was Larry. <laughs> You're a wizard, Larry. You're a shaman, <laughs> stupid. Stupid shaman. Shaman stupid shaman stupid. This head talks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just broke the chair. I'm gonna need more rum in a minute. <laughs> Are you sure that's going to help? No, but it'll make me feel better. Okay. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> and then you go to the end of the cave, and at the end of the cave is my sword. If you can get my sword and bring it back, I'll give you some money. That's that's really good. There's only one slight snag. Is it one of those sword and stone myths? No. Cool. Great, I don't have to be probably, worthy! Probably got some spider webs on it. Oh, that's okay. So, I guess it's the sword in the spider webs. Job mm -hmm. done. Yep. <coughs> we'll get your sword for you. Oh, well, it. we'll get your sword for you. You're right. Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> what are you looking at? Ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> See, that could be in character or <laughs> not. I don't know which, and that worries me. It's a bit of both. <laughs> I was trying to work out what those swirly things on the ceiling are, actually. Paint? Why are they in a swirl? Because that was like a thing that was done like 30 years ago. I think there's a spider up there as well. So there what? is. <laughs> Enjoy that, because you're sleeping in this room tonight. It's only, sorry, it's only a little spider. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> the lovely people are listening, by the way. We should be role-playing. I am role-playing. This could be in-game as well. True. I'll, I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'm just going to drag Medea out of the room. Good. <laughs> right, come along. We have we have a job to do. I want to ask him how you. Pingy Bell. No, no, <laughs> we are not getting the bell, and by no means, no, we are not getting the bell as a source of payment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you kind of saw how that was going to go. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do is once this quest is done, the next place we go to, I'll buy you a, a bell. Are you going to cook, go with me to more places? It depends on what else has been planned. <laughs> there might be more jobs. Or anything to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> oh, this is going well. You're not going you're not going to last very long out here by yourself, are you? Well That's what Larry says a lot. Well Larry Larry says, why, Larry says a lot of things. That's why I'm his prophet. I see. <laughs> is that spot with P H or F? Both. Right. right. Well, the good thing <laughs> is... It's really hard for him to write things with his mouth. <laughs> now, the good thing is we have Pearl, so we'd be able to hitch a ride on Pearl. We should be able to get to the mountains in good time. Yes, it won't take you very long to get there. Yay, road trip. Very short road trip. In We're fact, going on a journey. In fact, it's probably about 20 minutes away. If, ah, you ever walk a mile and a half? Well, it depends how fast Pearl goes. She can be a bit stubborn sometimes. Point taken. She's carrying two of you. Yeah. Mm. And Larry. Uh, three of you. <laughs> well, you're ca Well, basically. Oh, yeah, I'm carrying. You're Larry. carrying Larry. The horse has nothing to do. The pony's got nothing to do with it. 
Problem players, problem players everywhere. <laughs> problem players all over my body. What? <laughs> there we go, that went replace me. You alright? Yeah, I was about to ask if you wanted another run. <laughs> As a matter yes. of supreme urgency. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry everyone, just getting some more supplies. And by that I mean that do. GM happy juice. Yes, thank you. I'm alright at the moment. I was about to say for the crazy elf. I'm actually alright, and I think it might be better if I stay off having too much more rum for a little bit. Do you want a soft drink then? No, I'm, I'm just going to very slowly sip at what I've got. Yeah, I'm just going to pour right. one more rum for the time being. Alright. Oh, the steadily drunken drunkenness of this. This video probably started with things being relatively sensible by our standards. No, it didn't. I strode into the middle of a town and declared that I was a prophet of a talking head. You Pretty know much. the kind of role plays we've had, that isn't even the weirdest thing we've done. Really? We'll um, do a story about role playing games another day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. Because otherwise it goes all mad. We must up. continue. Yeah, then we've got characters in a role playing game playing a role playing game where I'm GMing what the characters do and then one of you is GMing what the other characters are doing. Oh god. And I have seen that happen. Inception. Craig, if you're listening to this, the fuck man. You want one that's just a random weird instant? Nat, his character appeared in one roleplay riding on the back of a shark. Yeah, that was his introduction to the party. Cool. He didn't turn up after that. Surfboarded in on the back of a shark. On land? <laughs> on a river. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a great white. Wow. The shark was very confused. Not nearly so confused as the party, though. Yeah. Sorry, what were we doing? Right, you guys are heading towards the cave. Right. Because now we're actually starting the actual mission. An hour and a half in. <laughs> GM, be prepared for this to happen. Regularly. It means, it means you're doing it right. People are having fun. Yeah. Mm. See, that's the thing. Anyone out there who is listening to this and going, oh, he's not a very good GM, he's not He's uh, not controlling the story, he's not doing this, this. Anyone saying, oh, they're not very good players, they're not uh, listening to their GM and following his hints. Fuck that. Fuck that in every hole it's got, quite frankly. Role-playing games are for fun, and we are having fun and drinking and eating Chinese. <laughs> so, quite frankly, I think this is how you do role-playing games. I know I've never really GM'd, but not everything that you've planned is going to go exactly how it's been planned. You can spend ages planning a brilliant scenario, but it's not going to go exactly that same route. As long as everybody's having fun, sometimes you're going to have to make up some stuff on the spot. I have GM'd, and I tried to GM just with our current GM, and he completely mocked up the massive story that I had in mind. And tried to build everything on a fly. Rebuild everything on the fly. I've got a whole world that was built around this one thing that you didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> and is it not true that that was one of the best RPs we ever had? It was. Right. Okay, so what are we? We're on a horse. We <laughs> are on a horse. You're on a horse. I'll let the GM take over. Mm. Yes. Yeah. You're on a horse. It will only actually there will only be two encounters on the way to um, the cave. Okay. The cave mouth. Okay. Who rolls for that, or are you rolling? I do. Oh, good. Right. The wonderful thing about um, wizards is wizards are wonderful things. Exactly. No. <laughs> the wonderful thing about uh, Rune Quest is there are tables for basically everything from minor encounters to major encounters to treasure tables but the downside is that they are all over the place through the role playing game book and because it isn't on the GM uh, cheat sheet it's a bit of a pain to find so here we are huh, there's a note in here from the first game I ever played where I actually added Templars as an enemy that was fun Assassins for the win. Nothing, nothing is forbidden. Everything's permitted. There we go. 